What's up guys, Houndish here, and today we're jumping in with a preview for Act 3 of Echoes, which of course is Destiny 2's first episode. And if there's one component about episodes that I think is actually good, it's that the game is getting more continuous updates than perhaps we would see in some of the seasons back in the day. That's not to say that the content we're getting is necessarily better than seasons, but there's definitely a little bit more of it there, and far more frequent updates. And that will continue with Act 3 of Episode 1, so on August 27th we'll get the new Act, and in the video today we'll talk about some of the content that we'll come across, the standard updates that we see per act, but also new activity content for Act 3, new weapons that'll be featured, as well as the all-important exotic mission, which will bring a craftable exotic weapon. Naturally, there are going to be some spoilers here, so keep that in mind as we get into the video. The additional component, though, for Act 3 is a special event to mark the 10th anniversary of Destiny, so we'll break it down in the video as always. I hope you enjoy this one, and now let's get into it. First up, once again, Act 3 will kick off on the 27th of August, so it's only really a couple of weeks from now, less than that. And for Act 2, Bungie did a preview live stream, so we're probably going to get some reveals ahead of Act 3 drop-in. And for basic stuff, once again, much like we saw with the second act, the artifact will have an additional row of perks added to it. We'll have to see what we get there, but the other component are the additional 50 season pass ranks that we'll get. And if you're watching this video ahead of time, with us getting new weapons, as well as the ranks, some folks may choose to hold on to Echo's Engrams if you're done collecting things at the moment, as well as the seasonal challenges, because of course, they hold a bunch of XP. And if you're already at Season Pass max rank, they're not really providing that much of an XP benefit, so might be worth holding on to a few of those for the launch of Act 3. And for the final step of Echo's, we will see some additional things like Emerald and Violet Radio Light added. Of course, we discover those in the episode activities. But we'll see the continuation of the research quests for failsafe, so that'll result in the Nest 8 and 9 quests. Then of course there are the weapons which will be added. So the first one is Chronophage, and this is a Void Adaptive Frame Trace Rifle. And they'll drop from the episode activities, as well as from the Engrams. And the first trait slot for this thing can get Elemental Capacitor, as well as Strategist, Shoot to Loot, Pugilist, Autoloading Holster, and then this Feeding Frenzy and Repulsor Brace. With slot 2, able to get one for all, High Ground, Fragile Focus, and then it can get Target Lock, Demolitionist, Desperate Measures, or Destabilizing Rounds. So there are a couple of juicy rolls to pick out there immediately. But we'll also get the Speleologist, Speleologist, not sure how you say it, but it's a rapid fire frame solo machine gun. This will be able to roll in light and action, as well as heel clip. Then it can get stats for all, deconstruct, firmly planted, slideways, or envious assassin in the first slot, with slot two able to roll strategist, as well as adagio, one for all, target lock, surrounded, incandescent, or killing talent. And again, there's more than one good roll on that. I'd be curious about something like Envious Assassin and Killing Tally in particular. And the final weapon is Marta's Retribution, which of course is a reprised weapon. This is a wave frame solar grenade launcher. And first trade start can get Heal Clip, as well as Auto Loaning Holster, Envious Assassin, Field Prep, Demolitionist, or Threat Detector. Then slot 2 is able to get Incandescent, Kill Clip, Vorpal Weapon, Strategist, Adrenaline Junkie, or Desperate Measures. So three pretty nice looking weapons there for Act 3. Let us know which ones stand out to you. But the next component is the exotic mission that we'll get for Act 3. So in terms of precisely when in the episode it will drop, it's not clear yet, so it might be on week 1, but it could launch a little bit later than Act 3 itself. Although there are a lot of classified triumphs for that first week of weekly challenges so it's possible that we'll get it straight away. We'll have to wait and see. It would appear, though, that this is actually going to be the core new activity for Act 3, so getting a little bit into spoiler territory here, the mission is called Encore, according to Bungie Leaks, and there will be a normal and expert variant of it, and the Bungie devs tease that this is one of the biggest exotic missions they've ever created. It looks like it will also have a bunch of different encounters, so could be a substantial activity, actually. But of course, what we'll learn there is the Choir of One, which is a Void Auto Rifle, so... The exotic intrinsic trait is Command Frame, and it fires extended range, heavy caliber projectiles over a reduced rate of fire, and it deals increased precision damage when aiming down sights. But it also has Fanatical Lance, and rapid final blows cause targets to explode in a pool of radiolarian fluid, and hip firing launches multiple projectiles at once in a slower moving spread pattern. It will additionally have three different refits, so one of them will give destabilizing rounds, another will give onslaught, and the final one is subsistence. So it could be quite an interesting weapon. There have been a couple of gameplay clips posted by folks that have managed to somehow use the thing early. Pretty certain you can get banned in the game for that, so not really worth trying to do, but there'll be additional drops from this mission as well. 
A couple of them include emblems, so there's the Trenzian Whisperer to complete the mission on any difficulty, and one called Before Aurora to complete the Expert variant, and that has the sort of conductor's head as an icon in the background. So those are pretty juicy, but otherwise we'll have to wait and see what we get. I'm not sure if Bungie will reveal this activity ahead of time in any real detail, as they tend to be a bit secretive with exotic mission stuff, but we'll have to wait and see. The other component, though, for Act 3 that we can talk about is a 10th anniversary event for Destiny. Now, info about this was found in the database, so Bungie haven't officially announced it yet, but the basics of it seem to be that we're getting a new armor set. This is themed on the sort of vanilla Destiny artwork that was actually on the cover art for the game, so it's something that's never been rendered in the game itself until now. These are, at the very least, inspired by those sets. And there'll also be some questing on the Pale Heart to discover some secrets, so it says we'll find hidden chests and armor pieces. So it looks like there will be a core gameplay component to the event. And there's also a new title. This is called Legend, and it requires us to collect K6 stashes, reach Guardian rank 8, complete ritual activities with the veteran legend sets equipped, to complete timeline reflection missions, decrypt engrams, and to defeat enemies and loot engrams in the Skywatch, which sounds like a sort of callback to the loot cave, and maybe even a sort of mini world event of some sort for this update. And so while it isn't a massive event by the looks of it, of course there could be more when Bungie actually reveal it, but it certainly will be another component that I think a bunch of players will want to engage with for a little bit of time during Act 3. So in a way, a couple of the juicier bits of content for this episode of Act Actually been kept until this final act. And for the moment, that's what we know about Act 3, so no doubt Bungie could give us a little bit more detail on some of the activity content. I'm sure they'll reveal what the artifact perks will be, and maybe a brief preview of the exotic weapon. But otherwise, this is probably just about as much detail as we're going to get on the new gameplay part. So I hope the video has been useful, guys. If it has, a rating below really does help us out. Also, be sure to get subscribed and I'll keep you posted with more Destiny content. Let us know any things that you're particularly looking forward to with Act 3. But for now, I appreciate you tuning in, and I hope you guys have an awesome day. The witness is dead. From that victory, something new emerged. At first, we didn't know what to call them, but Echo seemed apt. You won't be alone. We're sending our best. I was once the Vex's greatest opponent. I should remind them.